Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my kitchen again for another installment of College Cooking. This will be the last installment of College Cooking because I graduate in a week or so. I technically have one more class in the summer, so I'll be back here for like a couple more months making videos in this setting, in this apartment. But for now, this will be the last installment of College Cooking because, well, I won't be in college anymore. I think that's kind of self-explanatory. These videos are just gonna get really sad really fast. But anyway, besides that, I also have this camera. Hi, hey, 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 new camera. It's from my new laptop, right there. It's kind of, it's just, it's right there. I got this new laptop about a month ago, and this is the first time I'm using the actual camera on it to record. And because it's the first time I'm doing it, through this, I have to write down the recipe over here because if I try to close the camera, open up the recipe, it shuts out of the video. So anyway, besides all of that, we're going. Oh, look at that! That's going to be fun for for camera editing for my, for editing purposes later on. Anyway, um, this is a recipe that I saw on uh, I just was on Facebook one day and Rachel Ray posted this website, this recipe of like two guys they came in and they made like French toast uh, cupcakes or muffins kind of things. I'm gonna do the same thing, but here's the thing. I don't have a muffin tin tray kind of thing, so I'm going to use these little cake pans that I bought and make French toast cake. I'm gonna see how this goes. I'm just gonna I'm gonna feel this one out here. This light is really bugging me. For this recipe, you are going to need the following items. Eggs, sugar, cinnamon, salt, and for decorating purposes, strawberries, blueberries, or raspberries, which I do not have. If you want to make a, like a whip kind of topping cream or whatever, whipping cream, confectioner sugar, pinch of salt, vanilla bean paste, or the stuff that I can't remember from the top of my head what it's called, vanilla bean extract. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm not gonna be doing that and bread. They used fancy bread. We're gonna use this kind of bread. This camera needs to do this, so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so uh, we're just gonna cut off these crust. Oh, we're going to preheat the oven for something. Preheat for, preheat at 350 degrees. Now, I tried making French toast once before, and let me tell you, it didn't work out. If they can make French toast cereal, then we can make French toast cake. I was trying to get all fancy with this and like cutting it with knives and everything and lumping them together. You know, just tear it. Tear it apart. Use your own hands. This is college cooking. This is what we do. Next thing. You're wondering what this is for, huh? What is this for? What is this for? We're cooking something? We're gonna put something on the stove over here? No, mm -mm, no. You see, in college cooking, we don't have fancy equipment. So instead, we're gonna do all of our mixing in this little bowl, which I got made fun of because I had friends come over and like, I, we were cooking stuff. They're like, where's your big bowl? Or your big pot? And this was it. This is what I had. For this recipe, you're gonna need milk because, duh, it's, um, French toast, just put in, let's put in three eggs. Now, I hope when I bake this that it doesn't like turn the egg into actual egg. All right, next it says salt. No, it doesn't, the next thing doesn't say salt, but I saw the salt here and I know that it had to go in. So just a little bit of salt, let's do some cinnamon. Let's do lots of cinnamon, I like cinnamon. What else had to go in here? Oh, sugar. Okay. I'm just gonna do this. I don't know how much sugar, but we're gonna put in some sugar. We're gonna make it nice and good. Now we're gonna whisk that all together really quickly. You need to calm down. Eggs. Hey, yolk. Fun with cooking. Then we're gonna take our bread pieces and we're gonna put them in here. Give that a, a quick stir around. Now, this is gonna come out one of two ways. One, really, really delicious. Two, probably not delicious. If not, I don't have French toast cereal, but bam, I've got cinnamon toast crunch. So if this fails, I have a different kind of toast cereal thing that I can eat. Now this is supposed to let it, we're supposed to let this soak for uh, 15 minutes. So I will meet you back here in 15 minutes around that time. Okay, cool. 
All right, so this is soaking for 15 minutes. So now we're going to pour the mixture in here. Oh, that is very attractive looking. But this is what it looks like. Um, looks like a weird kind of bread pudding. I may, I may be making a bread pudding that I don't. And this is supposed to bake for 30 minutes. Look how tiny this is! It's a cake for one! Um, all right, cake for one, in you go. Do some magic, have, have fun, and I'll be back in uh, 30 minutes for this one. So, my timer went off. I had it in here for 30 minutes. I wish I had a GoPro so I could just like stick it right now on my head as I'm like getting this thing out. But you'll see along with me how this is actually going to gonna look. I, I peeked a little bit here and there, but let's see what the final product really looks like. Ooh, okay. It's like, ooh, ooh this looks interesting, guys. This looks interesting. I should show both of them because it's, look at this. Look at that. It's some kind of, it's some kind of something. It's got a nice crust on the top. Let's show over here. Look. Look. It's a thing. It's kind of like a cake, kind of bread pudding-ish kind of a thing. Let's open this up. Hey, wait. Let's show what we've got down here first. Let's see what's actually inside of this thing. Ooh, that doesn't look like it's like cooked all the way through. I want to see what the inside, like what a middle structure of this piece kind of looks like. Oh, oh, I don't know what that is. There's like this goopiness in it. Look, can you see that? Can you see that white goopiness? I don't know if that means it's ready yet. Okay, we're gonna try this round two style. Okay, let's see what we've got this time. Okay, let's take out the same piece. That little goopy piece seems to be gone. Or it's not technically gone, it's just now... I think it was the egg. I think the egg literally got cooked into egg bits. Which I'm okay with. As long as it's egg bits and not weird random goopy bits. Anyway, it's really weird. It's really interesting. It's one of the more interesting things that I've made. But anyway, guys, um, sad to see this little series go. Maybe I'll keep it up and change the name from college cooking to everyday cooking with your post-grad. I don't know, but it will be something. Anyway, I'll see you guys uh, next Monday for a brand new video. And I'm looking forward to that video. That one's gonna be really, really fun too. I got some ideas cooking up. I'll see you um, in the next one. Goodbye. Okay,